Lights dimming, fridge humming. Can low voltage zap your appliances? Electricity Frenzy investigates. Hey, electrical enthusiasts and appliance aficionados. Back at it on Electricity Frenzy, and today we're tackling a mystery that sends shivers down fridge spines and dims our joy, the chilling case of low voltage and its potential appliance mayhem. Buckle up, because we're about to flip the switch on this hot topic. First things first, what is low voltage? Think of it like water pressure for electricity. When it's low, imagine barely a trickle reaching your appliances. Most homes in the US are designed for a steady 120 volts, but dips and drops can happen due to overloaded circuits or even distant power lines. So, low voltage and appliances, partners in crime? Not always. Some devices, like light bulbs, will simply dim or flicker. But for others, the story gets, spicier. Let's break it down. While low voltage isn't always a recipe for appliance disaster, it can definitely cause some frowns around the house. So, what are the usual culprits behind this voltage drop? Buckle up, because we're about to diagnose the case. Circuit overload. Imagine trying to shove 10 suitcases into a carry-on. That's what happens when you overload a circuit with too many appliances. The pressure builds, and voltage, our electrical suitcase capacity, takes a dive. This is especially common in older homes with fewer circuits, so keep an eye on those power strips. Wiring woes. Old or damaged wires are like electrical highways with potholes and detours. Loose connections, corroded cables, and overloaded outlets can all slow down the flow of electricity, leading to voltage drops. If you suspect your wiring might be saying yikes, call in a qualified electrician for a checkup. Transformer troubles, remember those big metal boxes humming on the power lines? These are transformers, stepping up or down the voltage like superheroes. But if they're malfunctioning, the voltage can stumble like a superhero with a sprained ankle. Long distance blues, living far from the power lines is like ordering pizza from the next town, the voltage delivery suffers. The electricity loses its zip as it travels, so if you're feeling the low voltage vibes in a remote area, this might be the reason. Peak power panic, think rush hour on the electrical grid. During hot summer days or high demand periods, everyone's appliances are vying for attention, making voltage dip and lights dim like shy dancers at a crowded party. Knowing these culprits, you can be an electrical detective. Use a voltage meter to check your home's electrical health, unplug some appliances from suspected overloaded circuits, and remember, when in doubt, call in the electrician to diagnose and fix the issue. Now, back to our appliance adventure. Motor mayhem, appliances with big, burly motors, think fridges, washing machines, air conditioners, rely on that sweet, sweet 120 volts to run smoothly. When voltage drops, these motors have to work harder, drawing more current. This can lead to overheating. Imagine those hard-working motors sweating it out. Overheating can shorten their lifespan, leading to premature appliance retirement. Premature burnout. Think of a car engine pushing itself uphill. Low voltage can strain components, increasing the risk of burnout coils, fried circuit boards, and ultimately, appliance meltdown. But wait, there's more. Low voltage can also affect even the seemingly less power-hungry fellas. Electronics glitching, computers, televisions, and other complex devices can malfunction or experience data loss when their voltage juice is low. Imagine pixelated chaos on your screen, or your laptop abruptly hibernating, not cool. Uneven performance, ever noticed your oven taking forever to preheat? Low voltage can affect heating elements and other functions, making appliances inefficient and frustrating. Okay. The damage potential is real, but what can we do? Don't despair, my voltage warriors. Here are some tips. Check your voltage, invest in a simple voltage meter to monitor your home's electrical health. If it consistently dips below 110 volts, contact your local electric company to investigate. Inspect wiring, loose connections or old wiring can contribute to voltage drops. Get them checked by a qualified electrician, folks. Unplug unused appliances, vampire energy drain can actually strain your circuits. Plugging appliances into power strips with on slash off switches helps control the flow. Now, here's the secret weapon in our low voltage arsenal, the mighty voltage regulator. Think of it as a bouncer for your electricity, smoothing out those voltage fluctuations and ensuring a steady 120 volts reach your precious appliances. This can be a game changer for protecting sensitive electronics, surge protectors are great for sudden spikes, but a voltage regulator acts like a bodyguard, constantly ensuring healthy voltage levels. Prolonging appliance life, by preventing overheating and strain, 
a voltage regulator can add years to your fridge's life and keep your washer spinning happily. Maintaining peak performance, no more dim lights or sluggish ovens. A voltage regulator ensures your appliances function at their best, keeping your home humming with efficiency. Speaking of protecting your investment, I've actually been searching for a fantastic voltage regulator that's been a game changer for home electricity. Let me tell you, it's a superhero for appliances. Remember, I'm not claiming magic here. It's crucial to consult a qualified electrician to assess your specific needs and make sure a voltage regulator is the right solution for your situation. But if you're looking for extra peace of mind and want to pamper your precious appliances, definitely check out the voltage regulator. I've included a link in the video description below, so you can learn more and see if it's a good fit for your home. And again, remember, prevention is key. By taking these steps and considering a voltage regulator if needed, you can keep your appliances happy and humming for years to come. That's a wrap on today's electricity frenzy investigation. Don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe for more electrifying content, and let me know in the comments what electrical mysteries you'd like us to tackle next. Until next time, stay charged and keep that curiosity crackling.